Well, here I am in the, in the wildlife garden at the Natural History Museum. As you can probably hear from the background noise right in the heart of London. Really what I want to do today is just show you some of the lovely plants that you can see when you come to the museum now that the garden has reopened to the public. And one of the things that I'd like you to look out for is this very characteristic example of a plant which grows across Britain in acid places. This is, this of course, the gorse, and it's got no leaves, but it has got these really fearsome spines on the plant, and also these lovely golden flowers, which are so attractive to insects, although well, they don't get much of a reward from them, but you can smell them from, from feet away. It's got this sort of pina colada type smell of, of, of pineapples and coconuts. And they say that when gorse is flowering, that kissing is in season is quite lucky actually because we've got three species of gorse and between them they managed to flower for about 50 weeks of the year so good news for kissing enthusiasts. Well in the wildlife garden what we've tried to do is, is recreate lots of different British habitats in miniature and I think one of the most successful has been the woodland habitat and here we have a a, a typical woodland species, spring flowering species. This is the wood anemone, anemone nemorosa, which has got these lovely six to eight petaled white flowers. Sometimes you find them more pinkish tinged or purplish tinged. And beneath the lovely flower, you've got this ruff of, of, of lovely green leaves, and these form biggish patches on the woodland floor in many of our British woodlands. Such a delight at this time of year. So this is another lovely little plant and this is a, a violet and we've got quite a few species of, of violets in, in this country but they've all got very similar heart shaped leaves and very characteristic shape to the flower and the flower has got a little smile to, to them, they're really cheery. You can see inside the flowers little sort of beards at the bottom of the petals in the, in the throat of the flower. But the way you tell which species of violet you've got is by looking not just at the colour of the flower, where the flower's coming from, but actually looking at the bits of the flower. And by looking here, we can see that the flower itself has got a, a darker spur. It's like a little pouch on the back of the flower. And that's actually darker in colour than the petals. And the little green dagger-like sepals at the end of those is a little tiny area, so not a very big prominence at all. And that combination of characters tells me that this is the, the early dog violet, Viola reichenbachiana. Lovely thing to see here in the garden. And there are lots of things to see in, in the wildlife garden now, so please come along, take part in the activities which are, which are developing here, and see what you can see.